Hey guys, I'm Susie and today I want to talk to you guys about our white-handed gibbons, which are also known as lar gibbons. So here we have Dempsey and Dempsey is the male in our family, which the groups of these animals are called families. Dempsey is 19 and his mate is Leslie and Leslie's up there. She's the darker of the two and she's mom. Uh, Leslie is 24 and their offspring is Tucker and Tucker is way up high and Tucker is two. So from our recent veterinary exam, we did find out that Tucker is in fact a female. So these gibbons are found in Southeast Asia. They are found in coniferous, deciduous, and bamboo forests. And they are known as dwellers in the trees. So their genus name is Hylobates, which means just that, the dweller of the trees. Um, when they are maneuvering through the forests, they can get up to speeds of 30 miles an hour. And what they do to move that quickly is called brachiating, meaning that they swing from branch to branch. They have very specially adapted arms and very long fingers that help them to be able to move very quickly through the branches. Sometimes they can get some 26 feet between branch to branch. They can often be heard in the morning singing. Um, they will often start with a duet uh, between the male and the female. And their songs are most loud and most pronounced, usually mid-morning and they can be heard up to a half mile away. So they are what are called frugivorous, meaning that they primarily eat fruits in the wild. Figs are their favorite, um, but they have also been known to eat young plant shoots, some flowers, uh, mantids, so some insects, and also sometimes they have been found to eat bird eggs. Lar gibbons are very important in their native habitat to help with seed dispersal. So a lot of times when they eat fruits, they will eat the entire fruit, including the seed, and then they will move through their habitat and they will poop in another location, helping the seed uh, disperse. And these primates are very interesting because they have an interesting food habit. So they will actually share the same piece of fruit between multiple uh, gibbons, which is pretty rare among apes and monkeys. And so on that fact of apes, these are, also, these are known as lesser apes. So they are not great apes, but they're not monkeys. So they're lesser apes. <clears throat> they can live up to 30 years in the wild and uh, 45 years in human care. They are listed as endangered by the IUCN, Tucker, uh, meaning that their populations are currently declining in the wild. Um, and their main threats are primarily due to humans. And those threats include habitat loss due to urban encroachment roads and plantations, primarily pulmonal plantations, as well as poaching uh, for their meat to be eaten, but also for the pet trade. So what are some ways that we can help support these animals uh, from our home? So a really good way that you can help support them is by buying products that use sustainably sourced palm oil and by supporting your local AZA accredited facility, including Sunset Zoo and other locations that help with uh, Lar Gibbon breeding programs. So a really good way to know if palm oil is locally sourced is by checking if the company is a part of the Roundtable on Sustainable Palm Oil, also known as the RSPO, which is a group that promotes the growth and sustainable sustainability of palm oil products through accredited certified global standards. RSPO certified palm oil comes from plantations that have made a commitment to produce palm oil in a way that minimizes its impact on wildlife, indigenous people, and the planet. 
So a really good tool to help uh, consumers know if the products that they're using do use RSPO certified palm oil is a palm oil shopping app that has been created by the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. It is called the Palm Oil app. Uh, and it is where brands and products are rated on their palm oil sustainability. And um, something to keep in mind is lots of everyday products that we use um, actually have palm oil on them. In fact, about 50% of manufactured products have palm oil in them, ranging from cookies, cereal, and frozen meals to household cleaners and body lotions. So I know that seems very overwhelming, but um, something to keep in mind is that when a few people do conservation imperfectly is going to make such a large impact instead of a few people doing conservation perfectly. So making a difference for Wild Gibbons is as easy as choosing to buy one product that has RSPO certified palm oil um, instead of another that doesn't. So I really recommend you guys to get this app. I know that all the keepers here at our zoo do. So hopefully next time when you're out shopping, you can make a more conscious decision. So thank you guys for tuning in and catch us tomorrow at two o'clock.